Grievous. Hi, Robin. This is Jennifer calling from Chomp Jr. I received Allison's application, and I just wanted to talk to you. Hi everyone, my name is Allison Hare. I am 10 years old and I am in 5th grade at Wyndham Elementary in Orchard Park. This is my house. I live here with my brother, my mom, and my dad. And let's not forget about my dog, Wendy. She's an Airedale Terrier and very lazy, but I love her. Wendy, say hi! No? Okay. Uh, come on, let's go to the kitchen. Come on, Wendy. Come on, Wendy. chips, bacon wrapped asparagus, and pan seared tilapia. Let's get started. First thing you have to do is wash your hands. You always want to wash your hands when you're cooking because you don't want to get germs in your food. Today I pulled my hair back because you don't want to get any hair in your food either. I have been cooking since I was very little. I, I, on my fourth birthday party, I had a cooking birthday party and my grandma made chef hats for everybody and it was very fun. Okay. First, we are making the Parmesan, Parmesan zucchini chips because they take the longest to cook. So, I already have cut up my zucchini, so we don't need this zucchini, so I'll put it over here, right here. So, first we need to beat up the eggs. I'll get a fork for me. Okay, these are eggs, <laughs> and you need to crack them. So, crack them on that. Okay, good, and... Okay. And then just stick a fork in the yolks real quick and then just play fast, pick them up. Okay. So we are going to have a mixture and we are we need for our mixture one cup of panko breadcrumbs and that we use panko because it gives it texture and Crispiness, so right here, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, a couple of pinches of salt, a couple of pinches of pepper, some garlic powder, and a few, of, like just a few um, cloves of red pepper. I, it, the recipe calls for more, but I don't love it, love it too spicy, so I just put a few. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our basil, put it together, kind of like roll it up, and then we'll cut it, and we'll make kind of like, I'll try to make kind of lettuce, or kind of ribbons, so you go really thinly, and you go like that, try my best. Okay, and then you put those, it's just a few cloves of of basil and then you put that in the mixture and then let's stir it up. Okay. Let's find a fork, maybe a spoon. I don't know. Start off with a fork. It's really easy, just mix it. Okay. To coat to coat our zucchini, you first put it in the egg, then put it in the mixture, and then we put it on this pan that I've already put Cook, or cooking oil on it. Okay, so let's get started. These over here. And I got this from Rachel Ray. If there's any trash, like I already put my eggshells in here. It's a trash bowl. Okay. Put my, uh, I like to get everything lined up. I like to be organized when I do it. So, goes egg, breadcrumbs, or breadcrumb mixture, pan. So, take, I cut them very thin because you want them to cook evenly, so you do them the same. So you take it, you just use your hands, because we already washed them. Take it, put it, this wants to be fast, so like, get enough breadcrumbs on there, and then put them on here. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do this really fast. And like, when I, once I get started, I can do like, maybe two at a time, because it's really easy to do. This is a simple thing to make. Get them in here. Okay, and I will finish these up, and then next we are going to make bacon wrapped asparagus. 
Okay everybody, the zucchini chips are in the oven and I washed my hands again and I'm ready to start the asparagus. Okay, so you want to make sure your asparagus is trimmed. Most of mine are already trimmed already, but if you see white spots, then you, then you know that it isn't trimmed. So you just want to trim a little bit, you don't want to waste the asparagus. So right here, you just trim a little bit. There. Put it in the trash. Okay, so when you, we're going to make bacon wrapped asparagus. So you take two or three asparagus, is I think, and you just wrap them in the middle. They don't have to be super tight, but you want them to be tight. Like, so you just wrap them in the middle. I think it's a little bit too far. Okay, so then you just roll it around. Roll it around here, and then there. Oh, oh spread out. I already have two of them ready. And then at the end, we're gonna do a basting oil. So I'll just get the next few ready and then we'll be ready to go. So when I started cooking, I loved it from like the first start. Like I said, I had a birthday, my fourth birthday party was on cooking and my grandma made these cute little chef hats for us and we made cupcakes. I think we made breakfast cause it's very easy to do. And yeah, it was very fun. I'm almost on my last one. Okay, last one. So you wanna take two or three asparagus and put them on because you don't want too much bacon on one piece of asparagus. Okay. Okay, we're ready. Next thing we going to do is make the basting oil. So we have, we have some Parmesan cheese and some garlic and we have some olive oil. We're gonna zest our lemon. We just want a little bit, so I already zested some of it because it, does, it takes a few minutes. So what you want to do is just pretty much slam it against the grater. We don't have a zester, and it smells so good. It smells like so fresh. You just want to get this really good. Move spots a little bit. If you like, see the white spot, if you get to there, then you know that you've got all the zest out of it. You, know, you want to move to a... Yellow spot. Okay, that's probably good. Yeah. So you got the lemon zest right here. We're gonna put in a basting oil. So all of the lemon zest goes in the oil. And then, like I said, Parmesan cheese. Oh, gotta get all of that stuff. And then the garlic. This is and then just need to mix this real quick, really quick. And then we're gonna do take it. Yeah, we just gotta mix it. Okay, so take it just like a paintbrush and just smooth it on. You don't have to get every single spot. We want this to be quick too. Most of this dish is very healthy, but like you know, bacon. Everyone likes bacon. bacon. Bacon makes everything better. So it's okay if we have a little bit off of the healthiness. Put some bacon in it. So I put some cooking oil on the pan so it makes it crisp up more. And then the basting oil is to make it get crispy too. So putting this on here. And then like a paintbrush, just last touches. Okay. Next, we're gonna make our tilapia. Okay, so I have the chips and the asparagus in the oven, both at 400 degrees. It smells so good. Let's check out them. Okay, so they're looking golden brown. That's how we want them to. Um, maybe a few more minutes for them. And yeah, they, they're looking good. It smells so good. Okay, now we can get started on our fish. So I think the zucchini's done, so I'm gonna take it out. And always remember to wear oven mitts because you wanna be safe. It looks good, right? Okay, pull the oven up. The bacon looks pretty good too. Still needs a couple minutes though. So, golden crispy. So we're gonna make our tilapia fish, but before that we need to heat up our pan, because we're making it in our pan, and medium heat. We gotta get it flaming, so medium. Um, so, when you do your fish, well, we have tilapia fish. So, you take it, we have, we have flour, then egg, then, Panko um, breadcrumbs. 
I put in some lemon zest. I'm going to put in some salt. Always put it. In, I, I like to put it in my hand because it comes out really fast. So I just go like that. Some pepper. I wash my hands, so it's good to do that. Stir it up. Okay. Okay. And then next, we're gonna put it in the pan. So I have my fish and tilapia actually right here. My pan is hot, you can tell it's bubbling. So this is three, on medium heat, we turn it a little bit hotter, but so this is three to four minutes on each side, so I'm just gonna drop it in. Um, okay, well, we'll check back when it's ready. So I flipped it, it's looking golden brown and crispy, so it's looking good. Are you ready? Okay, the asparagus looks good, let's take it out. Okay, so this is our finished meal. We have our we have our fish, our asparagus, and our zucchini. As you may notice, I tried to tie everything together with a little bit of lemon. So I put some, as you see here, I put some fresh cut lemon, just slices on it. And then I just made a little simple dipping sauce for it. It's just mayonnaise and some fresh lemon juice. And yeah, <laughs> so this needs to be saved. So we could try a little bit. I made myself an own, my own plate, so let's try the fish. It's really good. <laughs> so the char on the outside is really nice. That gives it a nice crunch, and you could taste the lemon, which is good. Okay. Try the dipping sauce. <laughs> Sorry. It's very good. You could taste. There's a lot of lemon in this, and the breadcrumbs make it's a little, little savior, savorier. So they go together very well. So. Yeah, that's this is our finished product. Bye. Bye everybody. Thanks for watching. I hope you like my dish and I hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye. One thing I like to do out of the kitchen is play softball. Ellie Harry number 22. I cut my onion into fourths and I cut the I cut the ends off. So now we're just gonna cut them to little pieces. We'll have a lot of thin too. Okay, so I'm not gonna use this. Just little tiny pieces. Better watch your fingers. Okay, and then turn it around. Little tiny cubes. Okay, 
There it is.